Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today we have a pretty fancy King Ranch truck today. This one is an antimatter blue. I don't know if you guys can see it in the sun here. I always like to show you guys what the colors look like in the sun. This is a really nice looking color. But I will say that from like a distance far away or at night, it does look kind of black. But in the sun, you can definitely see the blue. I think it looks really nice. You can see here we have the 20 inch King Ranch wheels. These are the upgraded 20 inches. It comes with 18s. And these tires are 275 60R20s. This one does have the FX4 package. But I'm gonna come along here to the front. This one has the uh, best headlight option. There's three different headlight options. There's a halogen, a reflector LED, and a projector LED. This one is a projector LEDs. And you also have uh, reflector fog lights and you have the LED strip running along the bottom and across the top like that and an LED turn signal right here and this is a your side marker and it's kind of like an accent light looks really nice has the two-tone the bottom is the brown painted portion and the top is the antimatter blue coming along this way you can see it says King Ranch right here you have painted mirrors with LED spotlight on the side and LED turn signals. A camera underneath there. There's the window sticker. I'll pop up the screenshot, but I'll just briefly show you guys what's on it. This one stickers for 71105. Definitely not cheap, but it is a nice truck. Give you guys a side profile here. The running board is deployed right now. I think that's because I'm close to it with the key. I'm not sure. It says FX4 off-road because it does have the FX4 package. Chrome exhaust tip. Looking at the back, there's also three different tail light options. This one is the most upgraded one because it has the full LEDs. Um, this is the brake light, this is the reverse light, and this is the turn signal. And it does have LED surrounding. So I'll show you guys what that looks like at night in a night video. Once I get a chance to film one of those. You have the nice brown painted bumper, King Ranch on the back right there, parking sensors and a trailer hitch. And uh, this one does have the power uh, tailgate, so I'll show you guys what that looks like. All right, here's the key. We're gonna see if we can open up the tailgate here. So that's really nice. It comes down automatically. You do have that nice work surface here with a bunch of um, measuring and all that stuff you do have a power outlet right there and you have LED box lighting so you press that box lighting comes on I'm gonna use the key fob to put it back up so that's a really cool feature it used to be before you can only get that on the GMC Sierra and Chevy Silverado but now you can get on the F-150 so that's nice all right guys, popping the hood. It does have a nice hood liner up there. It has hood struts, so that's nice. And uh, it has the engine cover, so you know it's a 3.5 liter twin turbo V6. It has 400 horsepower and 500 pound feet of torque. It is rated at 18 city, 23 highway, and 20 combined, which isn't bad at all considering the power numbers that this engine puts out and also that this truck is four wheel drive. So that's not bad at all. All right, walking up to the door, you have smart key access. You just hold that to lock it and you just pull to unlock. And you also have the keypad. You can see we have a super nice looking door panel. It says King Ranch right here. Again, it has that little flag. I love looking at that. And then it has memory seats, automatic up down for the front too and just power for the back. You have uh, automatic folding mirrors right there. You have a nice soft touch leather right here all leather and all this portion right here you have a lot of storage space you do have the upgraded bang and olsen unleashed area and the easiest way to tell for me is i just look at the headrest if i see that on the headrest and i see the the perforations i know that it has the upgraded bang and olsen unleashed area you can see here you have a lot of power adjustments on the seat. I don't know how many ways you can adjust it, but you can adjust it a whole bunch of different ways. You also have massaging seats. Over here, you just have all your light controls, your parking brake, uh, your mirror spotlights, and your tailgate. You can do that automatically from the inside too. 
You also have a power steering wheel, power steering wheel column. All right, jumping inside, I'm gonna start it up so we can get everything running. Some cool graphics there. Alrighty, so looking at the steering wheel, it's a really coarse, um, rough leather, but some people might like that. I actually like the smoother leather that's in the Lariats and Platinums, and I'm pretty sure the Limited will have that too. But this leather is, is cool too. It's probably more durable, I assume. You have your Pro Trader backup assist with the trailer brake controller, and you have four-wheel drive with four auto, which is really nice, because it's kind of like all-wheel drive. And then this is to lock your rear differential. Coming to the climate controls, you have heated ventilated seats, heated steering wheel, dual zone climate control, it is automatic. And over here you have all your audio controls. This is so you can change like your uh, your sound settings and all that stuff. And looking at this huge screen, I do have a video going in depth on the screen, but I'll just show you guys real quick what it looks like. So you can see you can put um, something separate over here. You can choose between a whole bunch of different things you want to display over there. I like to have it on the uh, the navigation like that and then up here your auto start stop your camera hazards uh hill descent control and traction control and if you click that you can see you have a really clear surround view camera you can see i'm parked on these spots here you can see even the numbers and everything so that's really nice and if you click this button over here you can have it do full screen on the front have it do front and sides and someone's coming over here. I just got kicked out mid-review because customers started looking at it. That's interesting. Alrighty, customers have left. Put it in reverse. There's the backup camera right there, the surround view camera. And you can look at some different views in the back too. So you can make it full screen. And you can do like the same view except for in the back for the looking on the sides. And that shows you what's in your bed. So I think that's a pretty cool one. And then that's for like trailers and stuff. But the cameras are really nice in this truck. So I'm gonna briefly go through this gauge cluster. So you can choose between different uh, screens you want to show. Um, your trip, your truck info, all this good stuff, settings. But um, and when I do my night video, I'll go more in depth than this. But I just wanted to show you guys what it looks like. So it looks really cool. All right, looking down over here, you can see you have the gear shifter. And this one happens to have that fold flat work surface. So you do have this button to make the shifter go down in there. And then you have your manual mode right there. Um, you put like some pins or whatever in there. You have ambient lighting, you can see the little rim down there. Again, I'll show you guys what that looks like at night. King Ranch on here, open this up this way to be the work surface. And I really like this material. It's not like a metal, it's like a, I don't know, it feels good, I like this lift this up you have your coin holder there you have lots of room there is a light in there and you have a usb and a USB C. coming up to this front storage you can see it says king ranch when it's closed open it up wireless charging another place where you can put a phone or something else in there usb and USB C. looking over here on the passenger side this is to open up this little compartment right there and this is a 12 volt and you have a house outlet right there a nice glove box. It does have a light in it. You can't see it right now. Again, I'll show you guys that in my night video. And looking up top, you have LED lighting. Um, these are to control the sunroof. Uh, this is to control the rear sliding glass. You have sunglass holder right there. Auto dimming rear view mirror. And a huge panoramic sunroof that I don't have open right now. Alrighty, opening up the back seat door. You have the same soft touch leather up here, leather right there. So they kept all the nice materials from the front, your speaker grill and a lot of storage in here. And uh, there's a lot of floor mats and a bunch of crap back here. So I can't really show you a whole bunch, but you do have heated seats. You have the 12 volt right there. You have this, I think is the for the USBs. Yep, that's the USBs and I think the house outlet. Yep. You have pockets on the back of the seats lots of room back here and i did open up that panoramic sunroof for you guys so you can see it really cool and you do have a fold down center armrest and these seats do fold up and as you can see it has that uh, lockable storage right here there you go lots of room all righty looking over on the passenger side 
You have the same nice door sill plate on the driver's side. You have the flag right there. The same really nice door panel. And you have the same nice power adjustments as you can get on the driver's seat with the massaging and the multi-contour seats as Ford calls it. So it's really nice for your passengers as well. Alrighty, now that I showed you guys a quick walk around, I'm gonna drive it up to the front and uh, show you guys how I like the way it drives. So let's get this thing back up. There's your manual shifting right there. Put it in drive and uh, parking brake and we're off. By the way, this Bang & Olufsen Unleashed stereo is crazy nice. So first impressions, obviously really, really smooth. The transmission is even smoother than the previous generation, at least it feels like it is. You can see the gears down there. And one thing I noticed is that if you give it uh, some aggressive throttle, not like flooring it, but if you give it some aggressive throttle, it will go through every gear instead of skipping gears. Like my Mustang, for example, I can do like three quarters throttle and they'll still go one, three, five instead of going through all the gears. So I do like that they programmed it like that. And the digital display just looks really nice and crisp. Turn signal has a really nice high quality sound to it. And we're gonna get up here to the stop sign and we'll do uh, a slight acceleration. 6.8 miles on the truck, not gonna beat on it, but we're just gonna see how it is. So we're gonna put it down. Let's see, where's drive mode's at? Oh, here it is. Okay, let's put it in, go over here to sport mode. And uh, we'll just see what we can do here. Yeah, no problem with power at all. Another thing I noticed is that uh, the turning radius or not the turning radius, but the amount you have to turn the steering wheel is a lot better than it was in previous generations. So like, it stops pretty much right there. So it makes it a lot easier to maneuver around parking lots when you don't have to turn the steering wheel like 50 times. All right, turning the corner here. Let's get on a little bit. Yeah, lots of torque. You can definitely tell that it has 500 pound-feet of torque. I'm gonna turn onto this street here and hopefully you guys can see the gear. So watch how it doesn't skip gears when you do a little bit of aggressive throttle. I don't know if you guys saw that, but as you can see, it went through um, all the gears, which makes it a lot smoother. So it doesn't feel all jerky when you go one, three, five. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, if you did, please like it. Subscribe for more content on Ford vehicles. And I do some vehicles or some videos on my own car. And uh, let's see how well I can park in this spot here. By the way, I'm looking at the mirrors and everything. And we're good. We're lined up with that one and that one. All right, see you guys in the next video.